So I find myself in Vancouver. Vancouver, Canada. British Columbia, Canada. Because British Columbia's not a thing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> These crazy countries, I don't even know. SRIOV. Why on earth would I say SRIOV and Looking Glass is the future of gaming? Future of gaming on Linux or future of platforms are cool. Yeah, it's. What is SRIOV? Forget Linux. Let's talk about SRIOV. All SRIOV really is is technology that lets businesses buy really expensive graphics cards and share them among multiple people. So inside a server, inside a company, there, or there might be a farm of servers that have you know eight or 16 graphics cards for you know 50 or 100 people. Imagine like an architecture firm with a bunch of architects that are working on you know NVIDIA Grid or just doing architecture firm stuff, designing buildings. And sometimes they need a lot of horsepower, but sometimes they're just plugging in numbers. And so, which person needs just a crazy amount of computational horsepower when it comes to graphics changes a little bit. And so you can have something called virtual desktop infrastructure or VDI infrastructure. And if your users aren't oversubscribed, they can actually have a really good experience with VDI. Although most people that are experiencing VDI in the enterprise right now are gonna post in the comments and be like, our VDI is garbage. And that's cool, you know, the company can squeeze an extra dime out of it, that sort of thing. But SRIOV is a technology that is like virtualization technology, where you have one server that can run a bunch of virtual servers. With SRIOV, you can have one graphics card that's shared among a whole bunch of users. So what the hell does that have to do with gaming? And Linux, it's like, okay, we're not, let's not talk about Linux yet. Let's talk about good old games. What's the deal with good old games? I mean, they package older games inside wrappers, maybe an API wrapper, or maybe an emulator, so that you can run an older game. Think like an older Windows 95 game, you know, are they packaging the full Windows 95? No, it's just an API wrapper or something like that. And so you can run older software even though it's incompatible with modern systems. Well, think about modern systems. Think about how complicated like Hairworks is and how like the NVIDIA API is tied to certain hardware. And every time we get new driver updates from NVIDIA or AMD, the very oldest cards are broken and any, the very oldest cards sort of stop being supported. All of that sort of goes away if you can do full hardware emulation. All of that becomes a, a software construct. And so SRIOV means that for the gamer, you could share your graphics card between two different operating systems. So like Windows 95 and you know Windows, whatever the current version is, could share a single graphics card. But it's also useful for people like me that are into Linux as their main operating system because I could still run Windows and games and things like that with full hardware pass-through. With CPU virtualization, there's not really a lot of hardware overhead with virtualization. You can run a virtual machine at nearly the native performance of just running it on bare metal versus inside the virtual machine. Well, SRIOV promises the same thing. A card that is capable of SRIOV can run at near native performance like as if it's running on a full graphics card. Now Looking Glass. Looking Glass is a really awesome technology for copying what's being displayed on one graphics card to another. Think about SRIOV. You've got one physical graphics card, but it might show up as eight graphics cards to the systems. It doesn't have eight physical connectors. There's got to be a way to copy the information off of that SRIOV graphics card to the host graphics card. And that's all that Looking Glass does. And that's, that's what the Looking Glass part of this equation is. So that as soon as consumer GPUs support SRIOV, we'll be right there with Looking Glass and technologies like Looking Glass, maybe not Looking Glass by name even, but Looking Glass type technologies to copy that frame buffer from that virtual graphics card that's tied to real hardware to the host machine so that you can play older games or maybe even current games at full speed without really sacrificing anything, no matter what operating system you run, whether you're Mac or Windows or Linux or some other operating system that hasn't been invented yet, or, or even BSD. You could run all of them. You could run none of them. You could run one of them and emulate the others. It is a perfect capitalistic construct because every operating system can compete on its merits. You are not married to an ecosystem. You are not married to Windows because that's where all your stuff is. You are not married to Linux because my freedoms or, or whatever.
SRIOV. I think it's the future, and I think Looking Glass and SRIOV are where virtualization will be on the desktop for consumers sooner rather than later. Hell, SRIOV might bring about the year of the Linux desktop finally because there would be nothing keeping you on Windows at that point. I'm Wendell, and I'm driving around Vancouver and hanging out at the pier and doing other fun stuff. So if you want to ask questions or troll me or whatever, you can find me in the Level 1 forums. I'm signing out, and I'll see you there.